So with the release of Blender 5.0, we're going to be looking at something really cool that has been released, and that is the Combine Bundle and Separate Bundle node. There's also another one where you can actually combine bundles. We'll look at all of those. Um, but a really cool thing here is essentially, instead of having a whole bunch of cables, right, that are running over somewhere else on, in the node network to try and use them, you can have them go into this combined bundle and essentially all of these sort of inputs here, they become one cable carrying all of that data, all the different stuff, right? And then what you can do here is you can separate them out again somewhere else in this in the node network and then you can utilize them from there. And essentially what this is gonna allow you to do is to make a lot more um, organized systems here, right? Now this example over here is just stupid, it's crazy. I just quickly whipped this together some extreme crazy example just to kind of show you uh, um, how this could work but we'll look at a much more realistic and practical example so go ahead and just open up a new scene in blender 5.0 and i'm just going to go into geometry nodes i'm going to create and just with the default cube i'll create a new network and i'm just going to go shift a search and i'm going to get a sphere get a uv sphere and i plug that into the um group output. And you can already notice there are already some other differences here. Um, there's a lot of more stuff I'm going to cover, but you can see like the mesh now, instead of having a circle, it has this sort of like rectangle and um, the geometry output. But what we're going to do, we're going to go shift A, search, we'll just get a set and get a set position, just like, you know, we've done in many tutorials. And essentially this allows you to kind of do something with the mesh. So in this case, I'm just going to grab the offset and type in noise. I'm going to get the noise texture and I'm going to go for the color. And what I'm going to do as well, I want to be able to animate this. I'm going to set it to 4D and then I'll just grab the W here and I'll drag on it and type in scene. And I'm going to get a scene time in seconds. And essentially now if I hit the space bar, when the animation plays, this is going to be uh, moving here. So if I want to control the speed here, I can go shift A, search and just get a math, get a utilities math note added here. So essentially, if I change this now to something like uh, multiply, I can multiply this by a small number, so maybe like 0.1, and now I'm slowing this down a lot, okay? I can also come over here and I can make the scale something like two, and if I wanted to control this a little bit more, I can go shift A, search, and get a vector, and get a vector math, place it over here, and I can change this to a scale. So here, and now I can also control the scale of this, right? So now we have something cool that we've created here. Just something really, really simple. We're just storing this with a set position. Nothing complicated, nothing crazy. But the thing is now, how do I want to maybe take these um, outputs here and use them somewhere else? So say for example, I've done a whole bunch of stuff in here in between, and then later on down the chain, somewhere in the network, I want to set the position again, right? So maybe, what I'll do is I'll go shift a search and just get a join, get a join geometry. And let's just take our original and join it to this. So I'm going to plug that original output here, plug this one into here and then have the set position going into here, right? So now we want to do the same thing we did over here. So I can come and I can either grab all of these guys here and this is where it gets kind of like really interesting. I could grab all these guys and I can go control C to copy them and I can come over here and control V to paste them. And then I could put this into the offset, right? So now I've just reused this, but now I've created more nodes, right? So maybe that's not the most practical thing. I wanna keep this clean. So what we traditionally do is we could either also capture some of these as attributes and add an attribute here. Um, but we could also take some of these and drag them across. So in this case, I dragged the offset across, right? But the thing here is, is that's creating all of these cables. So what I could do now is I can come shift a search and I can get a bundle. So I can type in bundle and let's get a combined bundle. And now I can take some of these options here and drag them in. So I can grab the vector here. And then also another thing I might want to use, I'm going to grab that color here from the noise texture. I'm going to plug it in here. I might want to use that separately. And I might even grab the value output here from the multiply. So now I've got these three um, data types here I want to use, these three node inputs. 
but I don't want to drag them all across to here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go Shift A, search and get a bundle again, type in bundle. This time we're going to separate bundle. And then we can just take this one bundle and plug it into here. Check that out. And now all of a sudden, all of these outputs become available. And now I could use whichever one I want. So I can take the vector and plug it into the offset. And you can see now that duplicate is having that effect. I can take the color by itself and just use the color. I now have all of these different bits of data here that I can actually use over here without having to drag a whole ton of cables across here. So I'd have like free cables going across here if I didn't do it like this, right? Now this is a very simple example, right? In reality, I probably would just make some more nodes or capture some attributes, but realistically, there are gonna be times where this could be really handy. So I could have a whole ton of nodes over here. And then later on, I wanna do the same thing over here with the set position that I did over here. And it would be a perfect opportunity to kind of grab this um, combined bundle here and just have one cable sending all of that data across to the separate bundle. Okay, so let me quickly show you something else as well. This is say for example, we had two combined bundles here. Okay, and I'm just gonna randomly take some of these and um, in fact, I'm just gonna go shift a search and just get a combine bundle again, just by itself. And then I'll just grab some, maybe the factor over here, maybe grab the seconds directly over here, maybe grab the value over here. Okay, you get the idea. And what I wanna do is I can now go shift a search and get bundle. And now I can go join bundle and you can actually join two bundles together. And now we can take this bundle over here to join bundle and plug it into the separate bundle up here. I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh that. And now look at that, I've got a whole bunch more stuff here that I can use like that. So now you can kind of get the idea, right? This is a really cool way of using um, these sort of bundles. And this is, like I said, a very simple example that I've put together, but you get the idea how these bundles can be um, handy. So I hope I've demonstrated this well enough for you as a beginner. Check it out, get into Blender 5.0. I think you guys are really gonna like a lot of the new features.